So yeah, since I came to Japan, we've done tons of cool events, obviously. Um, Tokyo Auto Salon, Weckfest, tons of stuff at Fuji Speedway. You name it, Six Cars has been there. But one thing I don't think we've done enough of yet is checked out some tuning shops. Because obviously Japan is the land of tuning, modifying cars. So some of the most legendary shops in the world are based here in Japan and specifically in Tokyo too. So I thought it would be cool to go and check some out. So I figured we'll check out Spoon Type 1. One of the coolest and most well-recognized Honda tuners, car tuners period in the world. So it should be really cool. So without further ado, we should go check it out. Right after you guys hit subscribe, like, comment, and share, obviously. But yeah, without further ado, let's hit the road. All right, there's our stop, Spoon Type 1. Let's cross the road, head over, go check out some Hondas. Yeah, walking past the front window of Spoon, it's pretty hard to miss it. You can see some engine parts being worked on right at the front. As I spin around here, I've got the workshop. So, let's step in towards Spoon Type 1. So, outside Type 1, obviously just on the ground floor here. Um, very cool FK8 Type R over there. Looks like a full track build. Super cool. Um, not sure if we can get up close to it in this section, but we're gonna head upstairs. They got another workshop. We can check out some cars up there. Cool memorabilia. Um, just a really cool shop. There's so much going on. Got the S2000 and FL5 back there. We're going to walk around the side here though. If we walk past this adorable Honda N1. Yes, they're even building K cars here at Spoon. Really sick. And then look at that. It's got the classic, the OG Spoon five-spoke wheels on it. A little unmistakable blue brake calipers as well. Got a little S660 back here too. Again with these wheels on it. Can't mistake that. That's obviously Spoon. And this is a fantastic car, by the way. I actually did drive one. Um, I bore YYZ Curator's Omoren rental a couple of days while he was here back in January. It's such a fantastic, fun car to drive. Not the most powerful thing, obviously, because K cars are limited to, uh, I think it's like 70 horsepower or something. But navigating the city streets is so fun. It's such a blast to drive. But we're going to head up this staircase. This is such a cool building. Two-story garage here. At Spoon, we're gonna head up the staircase, check out some cars. Mm. So I'll try to talk relatively quietly because it is working hours, but there's so many cool cars here. Start with the Super Tycoon S2000, obviously an iconic yellow and blue spoon colors. Tons of spoon parts, brakes, five spoke wheels. And yeah, it's a race car, obviously. Got it out. Takata belts are really nice. And this is a key feature of the full Spoon S2000 kit, is this fast bathroom. So obviously we all know the S2000 generally comes with a soft top or a hard top, but it cuts off right there, swoops down. This gives that nice fast back look to it. And then big GT wing, this is a cool feature. Quad exhaust pipe by S2000. That is so cool. And tons of old bumpers hang up on the wall. We've got the new, well slightly new, in the place now, the FK Type R Civic, the NSX down there, the FD2 Civic, and then that's the S2000 front bumper. So those small headlights on the bottom there, I think we saw these at Wetfest, but that is part of the spoon kit to add those lights. We've got that nice little intake on the front as well. That's really cool. More and more memorabilia. See again, as I said, active workshop, so it's really cool. You can just come in and see them building all these different new spoon cars again another eg hatch up on the lift there and so they're doing some suspension work to it you can always see some new springs some coils on there and we've got the ek hatch back there and yeah there's tons of parts sitting around there's all these walls in the background too i guess people that have visited them all over the world can sign it such a cool just welcoming shop it's awesome got new fl5 there even got an n1 being worked on. It's a really cool place. Just another cool part. This is such a cool building. I've said that multiple times already, but just another place to store cars. Got the small lift up here at the EK. Even got the OG Honda S800 there. Sort of the long, long, long ago predecessor to the S2000. Yeah, you can see just being stored above these cars. Got another 
FK8 here. It's obviously getting a lot of work under the engine. Earth Dreams VTEC Turbo. So, so cool to see that. And then if you're wondering how these cards get up here to the second level, well, there's the first level down there. So obviously you've got the lift working here. Actually, I have to point out the wing on the back of this FK82. One I've not seen before is, I don't know if this is a new wing from Spoon, the swan neck design. So intricate. Man, that's really, really cool to see. Again, you get to see some of these new parts firsthand when you come by Spoon. Type 1. Just a great, great place to check out if you're a car person in Tokyo. You have to visit Spoon Type 1. So yeah, the bone stock. EG hats there, who knows what kind of craziness can be done to that. Tons of mods, I'm sure. Then it's really cool over here. Fully built spoon engines. Absolutely mint. Of course, all the headers and everything sticking off of it. Looks like it's just been built. And then check out all of the parts that are hanging up on the wall here. Everything from the engine covers, brakes, discs, calipers, exhausts, manifolds, just a bit of everything. So cool. And then just an iconic spoon wheel right there, the small little five spokes that you'll see in a lot of older Civics, Integris, things like that. This is like a Honda owner's dream. Just a lot of cool memorabilia too. All the old magazines. I'm a big diecast fan myself too, so it's an awesome, awesome diecast of the winner of the 25 hours of Thunder Hill 2021. FT2 Type R. So just before we leave the upstairs part here, we can get a bike on display. Not too good with bikes, but all I can say is it looks really cool. <laughs> and it looks like Spoon does actually build some parts for it. Um, I'm not sure if there is a bike person watching this. Maybe you can let me know what Spoon does to Honda bikes. Nonetheless, that's really cool. I did not know that. Yeah, just one of the many epic, epic tuning shops out here in Japan, specifically Tokyo, where I am. We head back down the stairs here, breathe again with the spoon and one. And again, such a cool building they have here at Spoon with the two-story garage going on. And yeah, just sitting on the side of the main road, so <laughs> pretty hard to miss it. Pretty cool. Again, they're so just welcoming at this place, so inviting. It's just such a good vibe here. Okay, hey, back for a little morning Daikaku action for you guys. Plenty of Skylines here today, R34s, R32s. Got some supercars, as always. Got the GRMN Yaris, which uh, we saw the white one last time. This is the matte gray one, which I believe is even rare. Yeah, super, super cool. Uh, in case the GR Yaris wasn't already wild enough, the GRMN is even crazier. Just adds a little bit of, uh, a little bit more horsepower, better suspension, all that jazz you would expect. Top of the line variant, and I believe there's only 500 of them too, so very, very cool. And yeah, supercars, JDM, let's see what we can see. <laughs> Go. We've got the nice old wedge-shaped Alfa Romeo SZ, the Sprint Zagato. Seen a few of these around Tokyo, but still very rare, so it's always cool to see. Pretty wild design. And over here we've got this super clean S30. So it says at 432 on the side. It's got the R code paint job, the orange and the matte black hood. I'm pretty sure it's a real 432, but not an actual R. Uh, doesn't have the markings on the back. If this, if this was a real R, which I believe is less than 400 of them, it would be around a million dollars, so 2,000 GT territory. But nevertheless, the Z432 is still super cool, and I believe these are going for about like 200,000 Canadian now, I would say. Um, so yeah, it's like the performance variant of the original 240Z. Pretty sick. Okay, you guys, we got the brilliant exhaust on this SV. Back, this should sound pretty nuts.
very nice Porsches, the 964 Turbo, and I believe Amazon Green. Get up close to that in a second because the paint's really cool. And you've got the baby blue Carrera RS 993 too, so no shortage of Porsches. You can see the red Carrera RS back there too. But yes, let's have a closer look at this 964 Turbo. You can see the Amazon green paint that I was mentioning before. It's really cool. It's just from like blue to green, sort of like a turquoise as you look at it in different lights. It's such a cool paint job. A lot of cool different colors in Porsche's history. That one's definitely one of the better ones for sure. Okay. 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 Okay